you don't never know when you need some keys made. Well, that, that reminds me of a story. Huh? Storytelling time with old Slappy Dog. Come on! Uh, <laughs> I can tell you a story while I'm going past this nice old park down here on Milton Lake Drive. Come down here and rent you some canoes. Richie, Richie, a boat, kayak, the old kayak. I guess they had the school or the college. They come down here and do that row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Miley, 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 Miley. Life ain't nothing but a dream. But, I, but they be down here with them long jobs. I'm not even sure what those things are called, them long boats. And they have those, uh, you know, everybody got to be in sync and, you know, exercise I know it's a competition I'm not sure what that is but anyway the story of my keys getting lost well I've got a couple of those as a matter of fact I'm gonna tell you this one this story is uh, we was getting ready to go for a ride and we all was at Bojangles getting us a little breakfast waiting on the yahoos to show up it's always late and I you know put my keys on my tray Got through eating my my, my my breakfast there and uh, got up and was walking to the, you know, throw my dog on trash away. And of course, I threw everything in the trash, put the tray up there, and we sitting up there by the bikes. Well, it's time to go, it's time to leave. I'm like, dang, I where my keys at? And I go back in there and look, come back outside, look, go in there and look. You know, now you're sitting up there getting mad. I'm like, daggone. I remember seeing them daggum keys on the tray of uh, my breakfast out. So I go to the trash can that I dumped that, the waste into. I told it, I told the worker, I said, look, man, I ain't trying to be mean, but I'm about to dump this thing right here on, on, on the parking lot. <laughs> he said, don't do that. I said, well, there ain't no other way I can do it. So I went out there by the dumpster and I daggone dumped that doggone trash all over that doggone dumpster pad. And, uh, you know, had to kind of sift through all that damn old slop and crap. But there it was, them keys sitting in there. And, uh, because he wasn't none happy about it. Well, I gave him $40, you know, to clean it up, you know, because I wasn't going to sit there and do it. I got, I got the most of it up I could, but, you know, he was going to have to fine tune it. But I gave him $40, and he was pretty happy about that. You know, when you make a mistake, and you have to do something like that. Just don't be a jackass and just dump that stuff down there and just make them, you know, they're going to have to clean it. Somebody going to have to do it. You know, I got the majority of the paper and the big stuff up with him, and I threw him a $40 bill because it was going to be a real bad day if he, they have took it and dumped it in that dumpster and my keys have been gone. I, it would have cost me way more than $40. Am I wrong for that? But, uh, and that's, that's my story. There's a couple of them that wasn't my stories that some guys had to do it. And, uh, but, yeah, I, I kind of felt bad. But then again, like I said, I did compensate him for his time. And, and he was pretty happy to get the $40. I mean, if, if he was making $10 an hour, he just made, you know, $40 for about 20 minutes. But I was happy to give it to him because I was happy to get my keys and, and uh, from now on, when I do take my keys, I got a clip. I got in the habit when I take my keys off the bike, I clip it on my collar right here. And uh, that's where I walk around with it on my collar. I do not throw it on the, on, the, on the bucket, on the tray. I learned my lesson on that one. All right. What y'all think about that? I am on the turnpike. Coming out of Oak Ridge. I'm either known that way. Please like, share, and subscribe. Come on back. Hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'm ready.